let's see how this person feels about you so the person on your mind right now how do they feel towards you let's find out remember private readings the link in my um bio right spirit how does the person on the collective's mind feel towards them let's see what going on what's going on how do they feel towards the collective how do they feel okay there's that damn chariot again the horses seem to be a little bit dead as well they don't go anywhere fuck you know Ooh, someone's full of shit oh the towel how right this doesn't look good you don't look good this motherfuckers daydreaming thinking about you let me get that fucking card okay okay queen of swords a little bit pissed off aren't you well i would be with these fucking cards right how do they think about you how do they feel Okay, they feel you're being a little bit harsh with them. They don't agree with what you've said or what you have decided to do. They have, they are pulling back their emotions. Do they even have any to start with? We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. They do want to come. They want to make this work. Okay, not going to lie. They do want to collaborate. Blah blah blah. But I feel that they've fucked up so many times that you don't trust this person anymore. You don't believe anything they say to you because they could say that the moon's out and the sun's actually out do you know what i mean you don't believe this person 100 percent. there's a lot of trust issues here um i feel this person has hurt you quite a lot and even though they are saying that they want to make things work that they want to work with you but you're the one that's been a bit cold i feel that they're shifting the blame here a bit the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck is i feel that this person is not in the best of places right now but i feel that the situation they are in right now is because of them but they are shifting the blame towards you they do want this is the thing they do want to be with you but i don't think you want this anymore what the fuck did this person do spirit spill the tea what did they do to the collective because the collective's like uh-uh baby mm-mm we don't care what did they do they took 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 and didn't okay so they were taking everything they were taking you for granted your love for granted everything you were giving to them they were just taking 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 and be like you know i'm good without giving anything back and now that you've taken your energy away they want to come in with some sort of action okay a little too late yeah they want to offer you the full commitment now a collective feel i don't think you want this i really don't think you want this you still want some clarity yeah you're kind of like listen if this motherfucker coming in motherfucker coming in that's absolutely fine betty but uh, i want some answers i want some recognition so they can't just come in and say okay i'm going to commit okay we're going to do this they need to come in and acknowledge their bullshit and um, take accountability for their bullshit stop blaming you for this and then there'll be a brand new start. But I feel that they're very much stuck in their ego as well. So although they want to come in, although they want to make things work, I don't know if you're going to get the apology that you want. Okay? I don't see an apology here at all. And I feel for a lot of you, you need that apology. You can't just start over with them acknowledging what they've done before. Because I feel this ain't your first rodeo with this motherfucker. But there is, there is the four of wands. I mean, you guys are going to get back together. I don't know if it's going to be emotionally what you want, but... Spirit, what's the advice for the collective about this motherfucker right here? What is the advice for the collective about the situation? What's the advice? A damn moon card giving me the eye. Queen of Wands. Okay, listen, you're vibrant. You stepped into your bad bitch energy. Do you know what I mean? Love yourself now. You know, you're like, do you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Very difficult. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be a rebirth, though, with this motherfucker. Like I said, it depends on how they approach you. You're kind of like, you know what? I'll see how this motherfucker approaches me. If I get the clarity, if I get the apology, if I get the accountability, I'll then decide if I want this person back. But, yeah, you're still trapped in what they did to you. You still can't get over it in your head. Little fuckboy energy. 
very immature behavior that they had are they going to do it again wishy-washy are you going to believe this person are you going to take them back i don't know i mean you've been with this person for a while this is this is a rodeo that's been going on you know what i mean for a while with the heartbreak there the three of swords i don't know i don't know like i said the hidden energy you're very much in this energy of uh, fuck you nah unless you're coming with a fucking ring and uh, bloody papers here I don't think you're going to take this person back. The hidden energy is if you guys collaborate, work together in a team, you can make this relationship work. But it's really going to depend on how they're going to come in. And from what I can see, they're not really coming in with an apology. What they're coming in with is, yeah, okay, let's go ahead. Let's do this. And I mean, you know what I mean? Okay, fine. And you're like, yeah, but where's the accountability? Are you taking any accountability for what you've done? Are you apologizing for your past behaviors? Are you going to change? What's going to be different? And this person's going to be, uh, 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 uh. So, yeah. Well, that was your reading. Let me know in the comments if that resonates with you. If it doesn't, book yourself a fucking private one. Have an amazing day.